Welcome back. Previously, what we've covered in our lesson was how to manage uh, the environment uh, to protect our project from other uh, interference from other projects and also uh, conflicts between the libraries that has been installed in your system. Um, because quite often that when you are using Python, you may toggle between Python 2 and also Python 3 because there are still a lot of uh, common libraries and common uh, distributions and examples that has been written in Python 2. Um, so you might want to actually activate the Python 2 environment uh, from time to time. In this video, we're going to move into uh, the, navigating the spider uh, and also the Jupyter notebook environment. So as you can see here, I already have the environment, virtual environment uh, up and running. The Iris project environment is already running. So I uh, would encourage you to actually do likewise. I'll give you a couple of seconds, uh, pause the video and get yourself to this same space. Okay, so now let's uh, run Jupyter. All you have to do now is just type, uh, sorry, not Jupyter, Spider. We'll start with Spider first. So let's run Spider just by doing that. And this is pretty much what the Spider interface uh, will look like. So you have the typical, notice that we're running Spider Python 3.6, you have the typical um, file menu, you have the edit menu, the search source and run you will constantly you know you run these uh, f5 quite regularly uh, and this is what you use to debug and the uh, set breakpoint and all of that um, the console is this uh, here uh, and then you can also manage projects if you like um, and also manage your current environment uh, variables Okay, so this is pretty much where you code. Um, this is the so-called the uh, the editor where you write your code. And then you have this uh, portion here, this segment here, uh, where it provides help, uh, file, explorer, as well as uh, variable explorer. Now let's uh, go to file explorer. It's always a good practice to open this up and go over to the uh, documents that we were uh, in earlier and move into our uh, directory that we created uh, which is why is it not showing is it under document oh, okay we call it documents rather than documents so we'll go into iris project select the folder uh, it's blank right now so let's uh, write some code this is where the outputs are so uh, if you you know this is really the environment where you 2, two plus 2 is equal to 4 this is really the uh, enhanced interactive Python environment whereby you can see all your output you can also he see all the historical log that I've used uh, that you've used and, and by the dates as well so Python is a really uh, easy environment to work with so if you want to print anything onto the screen and you notice that there is the arguments that's already provide suggestion for you you just type print and hello world okay and to run this uh, there are two ways you can either shift holding the shift key and basically you've highlighted the whole line uh, keep an eye out on this uh, input line here and type control enter and notice that it print hello world uh, what you can do is save this by doing file save um, you need to actually navigate into the uh, documents uh, which is right here and go into the iris project and I'm just gonna call this hello world okay so notice that it is also showing in your file explorer now you can of course move on to print other things uh, one plus one uh, that should print out two for you and that's really the actual environment this is the whole spider environment that allows you to uh, write your code and have output and monitor your variables too so what do i mean by monitor variables you can have a variable and store five into that variable and notice that it is actually stored as that 
um, you can actually come over here and print var okay instead of typing in this uh, editor here you can actually uh, type it here press enter it will actually give you the output that the, the variable uh, value is var uh, alternatively you can also type var and get the actual value itself when you actually get your file an asterisk like this behind the name of your file that means this uh, you haven't actually saved uh, you can either control save or press this save button here all right so um, i just want to close this console and restart a new one so i'm just going to close this it will start afresh as you can see uh, now the file explorer is still uh, showing still in the iris project so if you want to run this whole script uh, in one go you can actually press run five run file and notice that it only print hello world I uh, print the one plus one it didn't print var is equal to five the reason is really simple it's only our instruction is just to tell it to store I never asked it to actually uh, give it print it onto the console or the screen itself. So that's really a really quick run through of the spider environment. I'm just going to close this off right now and move over to the um, Jupyter notebook. Okay, so again, I'm running the command prompt. I'm just going to activate uh, our project environment, which is Iris project. Okay, now that is activated. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is move into your documents and note it and move into your folder, Iris project, clear that screen. And okay, this is our environment. Notice that hello world uh, .py, um, .py basically means that these are Python file it is actually running. Now, if you want to run the Jupyter Notebook in this current um, folder that you're in, uh, let's bring up the help uh, to, to show you how you can actually um, set that such that you can actually run your Jupyter Notebook at the current directory. So here's the notebook dash directory is equal to such and such. So what you need to do now is that you type Jupyter Notebook, double dash, notebook, directory. All you have to do is leave it blank. Okay, if you leave it blank and you press enter, it will basically run this current directory. So if I log out of this and close this off and type control C a few times, it doesn't always respond immediately if I just show you that if I don't do that and just type Jupyter notebook um, good thing is that well unfortunately it's not really showing what I wanted to show it will actually default to this for now but from time to time if your environmental configuration is a different one uh, I think I best to show you otherwise you don't okay so let's just run a completely new one now I'm also in a different directory um, Jupyter Notebook. So if I run that, it notice that it defaults to a completely different environment. And quite often, you will get an error message if you actually run this in the root directory. So let's just close that off and move on from that. Um, I need to rerun this. Okay, Jupyter Notebook and run this current uh, directory. So this is what a Jupyter Notebook look like. Um, it, ha it shows you the actual file directory. Um, it shows you what is in there. You can upload a new file into this directory if, if you like. For our case, we're just going to click new and we're going to create a new notebook using Python uh, 3. So I'm going to call this hello world. Notice that this has a very different interface and also feel from Jupyter Notebook. Uh, it also has in the menu, the file, the usual file, the edit, uh, the view, uh, which shows you some of the um, header toolbars that if you want to show, uh, you can insert new cell, cell, kernel and all that. So let me talk about what are these kernel and cell and all that. 
The Jupyter Notebook runs, uh, the environment is quite different from the Spider. The Spider is a typical environment uh, or editor that you see. All you can do is write codes and if you want to leave some so-called comments, you actually have to put a hash in front of it so that the uh, interpreter knows not to run it. But in the so-called uh, Jupyter Notebook environment, it's a little bit different. Okay, so you can actually change the cell um, by toggling it uh, using this and change it to a markdown. Okay, markdown works a little bit like latex. Um, so let me just type the title, title Illustrate um, Jupyter Notebook and smaller subtitle and this is Hello World Script. Okay, so uh, this is a demonstration of how Jupyter Notebook works. Okay, so I just press Shift Enter. You can also use um, uh, the cell, run cell. Uh, basically, it will do this exactly the same. So once I run that, notice that these are rich text format or latex format, uh, whereby the TypeScript uh, is actually quite different. It's this is when you're running your code or cell by cell. Um, Jupyter notebooks will know that okay, not to run this cell. This is actually a markdown. It will just ignore it rather than running Python code. Now within the next one here, um, I'm just gonna do what we did earlier. Hello, he not hello, hello world, and shift enter. And notice that immediately it gives me the printout. So one plus one gives me two. So if I want to print one plus one, I will also get that as well. If I store what we did, var is equal to five. Notice that it doesn't print. I can also do var uh, like this, and then it will print out the value of var. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is if I have something like one plus one and also var, uh, notice that one plus one doesn't show. So in order for you to actually see both the output of your uh, operation, you have to print, well, you don't have to print both, but you have to print those, uh, anything that's not the last line, you actually have to print it. Now we actually have uh, that working. So that's really uh, what I want to do in this video is to show you how to actually run the spider. Uh, environment uh, just to demonstrate to you the spider environment just so that you can navigate through it comfortably uh, both the spider and also the Jupyter notebook I will interchange both uh, the Jupyter notebook is very good in that uh, as a teaching instrument I can put a lot of uh, text to explain uh, what I'm doing in every steps uh, as a researcher you can also put in a mathematical formula uh, just to show you sim quite simply, so you can actually put uh, uh, x is equal to 1 and you get that. Okay, or if you want to use it as a fraction, you can add fraction um, 7, then you get 1 over 7. So that's really why um, Jupyter Notebook is actually very powerful as a teaching tool and a repeatable. Uh, research too that all I have to do is send this to someone else they can actually run all of it uh, on their uh, local uh, PC or local notebook or Mac or whatever so that's really at the end of uh, the illustration part what I do want you to do now is that uh, I want you to actually internalize this so I'm gonna give you a little simple challenge um, first of all uh, is to activate your environment as I did in the beginning of this uh, in, in this video activate your environment that's the first one second one is run the spider uh, environment and do some simple computation what does 1 plus 3 uh, equals 2 uh, and see if you can actually um, find the power of 4 4 to the power of 5 and what does that give you Okay, so do that exercise uh, and also repeat that again in the Jupyter Notebook. Um, a simple exercise is play around with uh, the markdown as I did and also the actual, leave the actual code as code uh, as these are. Okay, and play around with it. Um, and also, one last thing, see if you can actually uh, write the uh, formula like this. Um, 
and that's really the exercise I want to set forth for you to try it out. So don't skip that. I'm going to ask you to pause the video now and come back to me. Uh, the first one, remember the challenge that I did ask you is what is 4 to the power of 5 looks like. So go ahead, run it on the spider environment and, come, and also run it on the Jupyter notebook environment. So pause this video right now. Welcome back. I hope that went well. I hope you really enjoyed that. And uh, if you struggle through that, that's okay. That's really part of the learning uh, exercise. And, um, and I hope that you found the contrasting difference between the spider environment as well as the uh, Jupyter notebook environment is quite different, but uh, both has its own um, strength. So to get uh, power for this is the exercise I asked you to do, to do uh, four to the power of five is equal to a thousand and twenty four. Right, so let me save this and close this environment and stop this altogether and just to finalize, final, you know, summarize this. I just want to show you that you can do this outside the environment of both spider and also the Jupyter notebook now you can write, run ipython notebook this way or the Jupyter notebook as i was uh, uh, mentioning before but you can run the print hello world.py this way not print hello world.py this way notice that it actually runs hello world and two so you can actually run it on the console or the powershell uh, with the python in front in the next video we are going to download the iris data sets and start playing with it uh, to get some intuitive uh, understanding and that's really our first project uh, after getting ourselves all set up